Okay, today I'm showing you how I got from this very chicken scratch sketch on the left to this finished drawing on the right. Here we go. Now, it all begins and ends at the sketch phase. Not to sound like the goddamn drawing police, but for me, the beginning of a piece of art, whether it's a character design, concept art, comic book art, manga art, whatever it might be that you're drawing, it starts here. Figuring out this part of it, the sketch part, you know, and in that, in that includes, it's everything, man. I cannot stress how important the sketch phase is. And it might not be, it might, you might start at a thumbnail and then move on to kind of roughs, but I'm kind of encapsulating both of those in this bit right here. You are figuring out the gestural part of it, the posing part, the proportions, where the shadows are going to be based on the three dimensionality of it, which I'm going to come back to the contours of the piece, muscles, the positive space, the negative space, where you're going to be implementing most of your inks, where you're going to be leaving the inks alone, allowing a nice bit of contrast. It all comes down to the sketch. So now that we've, now that we've, well, I've really <laughs> made it a point on how important this part is, I'm going to stress one of the many aspects of all the things I laid out. One of the top, tippity top ones is the three dimensionality of it. Hence why my sketch looks like a nightmare. What I'm doing is, I don't know whether everybody else does this, but how I approach it is I use the pencil stage like a sculptor would, would uh, use clay. You slap the clay down and you start carving bits out and, and slapping bits on and moving things around. And it's, you are truly building this thing up so you know where it all lays because that is going to save you a lot of a headache, a lot of headache uh, down the line. You're gonna know, oh, okay, the shadows go here, the highlights go here, her head is tilted forward, so I could see the crown of her head and her hairline. Oh, okay, her rib, her rib cage is hitting her arm here, so clearly there's gonna be lots of dark in there, along with maybe a little bit of ambient occlusion, if you know what that word means. It's, it is so important to understand the three dimensionality of it. Here, I found some images on Pinterest. Uh, I don't know the artists, so I can't credit them, but if you know, let me know and I'll, I'll tag them. I'll drop a link to their work. But these images should help illustrate in a much cleaner way than I do, the importance of the three dimensionality of it in regards to how you see your own art and how you'll be able to portray that art for the viewer. Which brings us to the next leg of our artistic journey, the inks the inks man oh man they could be incredible or they could be your worst nightmare let me lay out the scenario for you you just got done with your sketch it's awesome you can't wait to start inking you start inking perfect it looks great hang on let me remove this pencil layer and see how it looks oh my god or if you're drawing traditionally let me erase these pencils see how the inks stand up on on their own so you hold it up and oh my god, it's shit. <laughs> You've made crap. This stinks. I want to throw my iPad out the window now. Fret not. You've stumbled upon a dilemma that every illustrator I've ever known has stumbled into. Something got lost in translation. Don't worry about it. Don't sweat it. It happens all the time. But you're going to have to put on your big boy pants and figure out what got lost. The thing is, with sketches, there are lots of maybe lines. If you're drawing an arm, let's say, in the sketch phase or the thumbnail stage, stage, there may be like three or four different lines that could be the arm. And what ends up happening is your mind fills in the blanks. You see all these rough lines and you, in your head, create a finished piece. When you're doing your line work, after the fact, depending on how clean your lines are too, there's no more maybe lines. There's a single line for the lips or the eyes or the arms or whatever it may be, you've committed. And if you've lost a bit of that energy, because let's be honest, when you're sketching, usually there is a ton of kinetic energy in those lines, especially if you're doing it quickly. Boom, 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 boom. And if you then turn around and you are very precise and exact, and you don't have any line weight or line variation, it's going to read as very stiff. So at this point, I would recommend 
as you're doing this and you're feeling too frustrated, take a breather. Seriously, either swap the art out and start drawing something else or just take a, take a fiver. Play a video game, watch a movie, watch some TV, walk over, pick up your phone, go to whatever social media app, think to yourself, damn, this didn't get as many likes as I thought it would. And then you remember, hey, I was watching a YouTube video where the guy told me that likes are complete bullshit. All they do is show you whether or not the algorithm was into you that day or not. They bear no weight on your art or who you are as a person. Trust me, when it comes to sketching, especially inks, you'll get better over time. All it is is practice. That's it. Trust me on this. As for this next part here, I'm going to be focusing on the contrast of it. Check out this square. See that? It's like an 80-20 split. Utilize that. Use the negative space because the opposite is true too. On a white background, a black square will stand out more, especially if it's much smaller. Here, I'm adding some background uh, of half tone to make her pop. See, I'm trying to utilize that as well. I'm also adding, I'm also adding a cell shading layer to help with the three dimensionality and all the stuff that we talked about before. Now I've got a question for you guys. Is there anything that I talked about that you want me to do a more in-depth tutorial on or any questions you have in general? Let me know. I do a live stream where you guys can check me out and ask me whatever questions come to your head Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. And I've got a Patreon with some brush packs. If you're curious, they're for Photoshop and they're pencils. But uh, see you next time.